right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away, because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fight. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. And going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Wow. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that. All right, so there it is, the only takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist. They checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow on the guard. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. The one-two punch is true. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, head kick lands. He connects with the punch. with a left hook there. Nice punch lands over the top. Leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow. This is what a jab is supposed to look like. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying. Because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured it. Oh, man. 
This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Chor. Yes! Nice body kick right under the elbow. Just misses with the straight right. Beautiful strike. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage and might as well use it. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to You be. have got the free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start building towards doing something else. But the first step is to get a arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. All right, so he's got the body lock down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Get back out here and work on Deep breath and relax. There's a lot of blood. Cut your open gut. Brett wants to stop this fight, but you're not gonna let him. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Let me see that hook now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Huge knee lands. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's gonna get over and over? You come up, you go down. Another takedown win. Nice hammer fist. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck and he will have to submit. Both fighters back to their feet now. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Just misses there with the left. Punch over the top. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Relax, relax. Keep your hands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Take it down, cut, take it down, cut. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. 
lands the right hand. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Choice back in full mount. Bleeding from his cheek now. I mean, how many can he take? All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, really making good use of this reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Effective punch there by Choi. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Ooh, blocks the shot. Straight right is there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going to No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. And they separate. He lands with the left. Ten seconds. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. A lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-two. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Back mount now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Be first, be first. Oh. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Three minutes remain in the round. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. put himself into the half guard. 
Like the control, yep. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make it pay for it. Oh, man, head kick lands. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Beautiful leg kick throw. Man, that cut has really opened up. Dig and kick. Tags him with the left. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. The record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. The Korean Superboy gets back up again. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Ooh, what a punch. Left-right combo is good. Ball lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges, and big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next round. up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the Green more conditioned fight. fighters on Good. the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? That right hand hurt him a little bit. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, man. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Good punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Out of range with that one. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Beautiful takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, he's got it. Oh! He 
needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Close guard. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Man, it seems like even when he postures up, he's getting cracked by the bottom fighter. What does he need to do to try to reverse things here? He's getting hit over and over by the fighter on the bottom. He needs to keep moving his head. Michael Foster is really taking time when he's throwing these shots. He cannot just be throwing for the sake of throwing. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just missed with the left there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. an effective counter with a straight punch. It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice right hand. Sneaky head kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Beautiful punch. You can't take too many of those big elbows. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Continues to mix. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And they separate. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Boom! Big jab. Hands higher. Oh, 
big left. Hard to get up again, but he looks like he's oh, compromised. Me, Kate, now, is this the one that's gonna break him? All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Super Bowl. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Choi. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Choi's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Nice punch man over the top. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try to find that punch or that goal. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his